All right, once again, welcome back out here to another episode of Simply Outdoors TV. In this week's episode, we're going to take you back to May of this last year, and we get my brother out on a turkey hunt. Now, this whole episode is actually the late season with Arthur, and we take you through the whole season that progresses and gets him out of turkey at the end. So, um, sit back, relax. You're watching another great episode of Simply Outdoors TV. I was born into a family that likes to hunt and fish. Granddaddy had a cabin, yeah, I can still remember it. It leaves me memories I never forget. Whenever I think about it, it's not complicated. It's simply outdoors. Got the truck loaded up, ready for the weekend. There's no other place that I'd rather be. This is where my daddy does his hunting And where my kids will be raised It's not complicated It's simply outdoors It's simply outdoors It's simply outdoors It's simply outdoors I was born into a family that likes to hunt and fish. Simply Outdoors TV is brought to you today by these fine sponsors. Icy Tech Coolers, Pink Rack Project, Dart and Archery, HHA Sports, Armstrong's Car Care, True Fire Releases, Voodoo Archery, Michigan Deer Tracking House, my Unique Ideas, Stormclaw 2 Outerwear, Skeeter's Battered Up Mix, Michigan-Sportsman.com, Predator Hunter Outdoors, Lacrosse Footwear, Whitetail Farms Processing, Backwoods Bargain Outfitters, Diamond Buck Camel, TJ's Lanyards, and Angry Zebra Graphics. All right, once again, this next clip, we're going to take you back here to May during the late hunt for turkeys here in Michigan. I took my brother out to Greg Salsman from Whitetail Farms Processing, one of our sponsors. We took him out to his property where we've been seeing a lot of birds. Sitting back up in this back corner in this actually late planted weed, or I don't think it quite took off or something. We got birds all around us gobbling. This bird's come walking in, and then we realize it's a bearded hen. So in Michigan, it states that you can kill a bearded turkey. It doesn't have to be a male turkey. It's got to be a bearded turkey. Spirited hen comes in, which is somewhat rare, but in this area for serving, we've actually seen quite a few bearded hens. But do you think Arthur will take the shot with his bow? You guys will have to watch this next clip to find out. All right, it's May 6th. Um, it's my first morning of turkey, and we're both laughing because uh, it's May 6th, first morning of turkey, my turkey hunt, I'm taking my bow. And we got a couple toms right behind us here that have been gobbling their heads off all morning. And there they go again. Uh, hopefully, they're heading this way. We think they have a hen with them. Uh, but. I'm just gonna wait, sit back, and see what happens. Is it a bearded hat? Yeah. It's a bearded hat. It does it.
shot her. Our season's done. So, uh, didn't want to quite end it yet. <laughs> we'll see if I end up regretting that. <laughs> Okay, as you guys can see, Arthur couldn't quite decide if he wanted to kill this bird or not. Decided to let the hen pass. And so we, this, I think opening day was like on a Tuesday or Wednesday. He had to work the next day. So we waited till the weekend. We got back out. We went back out the graves again, stayed up in the same exact spot. And as you'll see in this next clip, this long beard comes walking out along with the bearded hen that we'd seen once before. But he decided to wait on the, long, on the hen and wait for the long beard. He's just in range. He's within that like 45, 50 he got out to about 60 yards. Arthur wasn't comfortable with the bow shot out there at that range on a turkey. So he decided to wait. And as we're waiting, you'll see this hen come. This hen gets across. We decided to make a move on him. We got outside the blind. And one of the hens turns around to one of my calls and comes walking right straight into us. And we're hoping it's the bearded turkey. But you'll have to watch this to find out. your next hunting adventure begin and end with Darton Archery, built to hunt. Bargain Outfitters, your source for everything outdoors. Located at 22551 North Bedford Road in Battle Creek, Michigan. When it comes to hunting and fishing and camping, Backwoods has it all, including a full indoor archery range to get you ready for that buck of a lifetime. Looking for a gun? Backwoods sells all types of guns and bows new and used. Backwoods Bargain Outfitters is the official shop of Simply Outdoors TV. Predator Hunter Outdoors is proud to introduce our Night Sniper line of hunting LED lights. What makes our light the best value and highest quality on the market? Our bezel and reflector are engineered specifically for extreme distances. Our lights are made from T6 aircraft grade aluminum, which provide heavy recoil and impact resistance. And we have an industry leading warranty on all lights and accessories.
at Predator Hunter Outdoors, we're changing the way you hunt. You can find all of our great products and accessories at PredatorHunterOutdoors.com or you can call us at 586-596-3655. That's 586-596-3655. We ship anywhere in the United States and Canada. From hunting, fishing, and camping, Icy Tech Tours has been protecting your investment for over 25 years. Icy Tech is the original premium rotomolded polyethylene cooler, setting the standards others aspire to. Icy Tech, keeping your cool longer. Welcome, everybody. This is the way we hunt at Simply Outdoors for turkeys. <laughs> How'd it work out for you? Uh, almost worked out, actually. We really had the blind on top of us then. <laughs> that Jeff just moved, and so now I'm just sitting here in the middle of the field. But um, as the Tom went back that way, we couldn't get him to come in close enough. Um, then we had uh, probably the dumbest hen turkey we've ever seen. Me and Jeff were out in the wide open getting ready to make a move because they went over a hill to try to go find him and uh, sneak up over the top of the hill and get a shot on him. And this one hen turned and came right back at us to like 30 yards. And of course, she's not the bearded hen that's with them either, but the regular hen. Um, and then she spooked off. So now we're sitting here. Move the blind for tomorrow morning, and we'll probably cross the road and see what we got going for late morning birds on this property. So we'll see. First, we'll sit here in the open and eat a pop dart. All right, as you guys noticed, that bird did come right straight into us. Got within about 30, 35 yards. Arthur was ready, and then we realized it wasn't the bearded hen, so he had to opt to pass because you can't shoot a hen. We walked back over the hill. Tom was gone. Couldn't do a spot and stalk on him, so we had to call it a day. So then about, a, I think it was about a week later, the next week, and I think we got a hold of fellow pro staffer Barry Cooper and uh, Cecil. We got a hold of him, and Cecil said, come out. Got a lot of birds on my property. Let's try to get Arthur on a bird again. So we set up, heard these birds gobbling their heads off off the roost. We got set up in the spot, and these birds are just lighting up. And as we sit down, we realize that about 50 yards away is another big tom gobbling his face off up in the up in the tree. And the hen flies down, and when you know it, the hen comes walking right to us and literally almost walks over our boots. And will the tom fly down? I don't know. You guys have to watch us to find out. It's crazy, aren't they?
From hunting, fishing, and camping, Icy Tech Coolers has been protecting your investment for over 25 years. Icy Tech is the original premium roto molded polyethylene cooler, setting the standards others aspire to. Icy Tech, keeping your cool longer. Skeeter's Battered Up Batter Mix, your all in one light batter fry mix. Available in original, mild Cajun, lemon mustard, full flavored, gluten free. Looking for that batter mix the whole family will love? Skeeter's is the one. Great on fish, seafood, chicken, fries, and vegetables, and just about everything that's wild game. Make sure you order yours today at www.skeetersbatteredupsales.com. Nothing shines quite like a diamond. Shimmering Diamonds makes a diamond's unique sparkle unforgettable. An innovative setting technique allows the diamond to be in motion, so every move she makes is reflected in its everlasting shimmer. With an array of styles and prices, Shimmering Diamonds is sure to be loved and admired. When she's wearing Shimmering Diamonds, nothing will shine quite like her. Make her sparkle at your hometown jeweler. Backwoods Bargain Outfitters, your source for everything outdoors. Located at 22551 North Bedford Road in Battle Creek, Michigan. When it comes to hunting and fishing and camping, Backwoods has it all, including a full indoor archery range to get you ready for that buck of a lifetime. Looking for a gun? Backwoods sells all types of guns and bows new and used. Backwoods Bargain Outfitters is the official shop of Simply Outdoors TV. As you guys can see in that clip there, Arthur just couldn't quite seal the deal. We had the, the hen actually flew down out of the roost, almost walks right over top of our boots. Me and Arthur kind of laughing back and forth. I couldn't even move the camera, she was so close. And the tom that was sounding off next to us flew over the back side of the hill, so we decided to go after that tom, but he didn't want nothing to do with us. Barry tried making some calls, get him to respond, he shut up, and so we decided to move down a little way. So we went down another couple hundred yards where we'd heard birds that had been gobbling all morning. And set up on the spots, kind of little creek bottom, really thick. We had my son with us and uh, a couple other people, with Cecil and Barry and everybody. We had like five guys out with us, running different camera angles. And all of a sudden we noticed this hen comes walking in. And Arthur, this is what happens when you hunt with your brother. I kind of got in his head. We had some lack of communication on some things. But you guys have to watch this to see exactly what happens. Kill him right there. Kill him right there. Kill him. Kill him. You gotta be kidding me. How did you miss? I have no idea. Out of position? I felt like I had to swing and go fast because he was starting to get spooky. Good job, Barry. Hey, Dad. All you, can, all you can do. Dude, that hen, it was like we were sitting here and there's Tom throwing off that way and Tyler's like, hen. And I could hear one back here, but I could she hear shut something. up for yeah. a long time, and then those deer got on us. And as soon as she I got right I here, I seen her over there. As she soon as she got right like, here, uh, 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 I, like, I got her to yelp again, and then I got her upset. And she come walk, what five yards from you guys, two yards, walks right into the decoy, 
And then the other turkey with her happened to be Jake, and then, well, you see, you see what happened there. But that's okay. We gotta kill him a bird that's today, the or he may. Third made. miss that we've filmed on this property. <laughs> property. <laughs> see, yeah, this property. Don't we don't shot in this property. My well, I called then. that one in last you year. You should have just waited and from the come right here. Well, as you guys can tell in that clip, we pulled that bird right in close. We had the hen walk right by us about five yards again. I look up. We see we got this Jake come walking in. Arthur decides he's going to take him. I say, you know, when you're ready, take him. He thinks, I mean, take him right then. So, you know, as brothers go, he's mad at me all afternoon because he thinks that I rushed his shot. But, you know, he ends up missing the shot. His reaction is priceless. It's funny because Arthur, when he misses, he doesn't he doesn't do missing very well. But we'll be right back after these messages, and you guys can see whether or not Arthur finishes out his year on a good note or on a bad note. Let your next hunting adventure begin and end with Darton Archery, built to hunt. Hunting, fishing, and camping, Icy Tech Coolers has been protecting your investment for over 25 years. Icy Tech is the original premium roto molded polyethylene cooler, setting the standards others aspire to. Icy Tech, keeping your cool longer. Predator Hunter Outdoors is proud to introduce our Night Sniper line of hunting LED lights. What makes our light the best value and highest quality on the market? Our bezel and reflector are engineered specifically for extreme distances. Our lights are made from T6 aircraft grade aluminum, which provide heavy recoil and impact resistance. And we have an industry leading warranty on all lights and accessories. At Predator Hunter Outdoors, we're changing the way you hunt. You can find all of our great products and accessories at PredatorHunterOutdoors.com or you can call us at 586-596-3655. That's 586-596-3655. We ship anywhere in the United States and Canada. Skeeter's Battered Up Batter Mix, your all-in-one light batter fry mix. Available in original, mild Cajun, lemon mustard, full flavored, gluten free. Looking for that batter mix the whole family will love? Skeeter's is the one. Great on fish, seafood, chicken, fries, and vegetables, and just about everything that's wild game. Make sure you order yours today at www.skeetersbatteredupsales.com. All right, as you guys can tell in that last clip, Arthur almost seals the deal on this bird. Couldn't quite seal it, but. About a week later, last day of the season, a true farm of every hunting show you watch, he, Justin Southern calls him up and says, hey, you should come out to my property. I think we can get on some birds tonight. He takes him out. These birds, they're covered up in birds almost immediately. And I think they got four or five Jakes, Tom, something like that, coming out in front of them. And you guys will just have to watch the rest of this clip to see what happens. Thanks, Justin. Did you get that? Yep. Yes, dude! Awesome! <laughs> Thanks, man. It's awesome. Oh, gosh. That worked perfect. They're running. Oh, let's go get them. 
Oh, okay, hold on, I'll do a little outro. All right, this turkey season has been a pain, to be quite honest. I've probably walked 25 miles in the last three weeks. I've crawled, I've stalked, I've crouched. Me and Jeff have done things, all these different things. And then on uh, Sunday morning, I missed, and it was the loneliest feeling in the world. And this is the last night I can hunt. We're right in between fronts, and Justin just brought me to a property and helped me put a bird down, and I'm excited. Yes! All right, like I said before, this has been a, it's been a crazy season. Um, I passed up a bearded hen uh, opening day. I was kind of regretting that. I had a couple other long bow shots that I passed up, I was regretting it, and then last Sunday was the lowest of the lows. After walking and walking and walking and a bunch of close encounters, um, I missed. And finally tonight, uh, came out with Justin here, and honestly, I hate to sound like all the other shows out there, but this is the last night that I can hunt for this season. It really, truly is. Um, Last night I could hunt, so we had a group of Jakes come past. He's got like a five or six inch beard. He's a pretty big Jake. Um, and I am completely happy with him. He's not a long beard, but uh, honestly my first real good kill on film. And I'm happy with it. That's all I really can say. Thanks, Justin, man, for bringing me out here. This property worked out. All right, once again, that's going to wrap up another episode out here at Simply Outdoors TV. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Hey, don't forget... This is what happens when you're persistent about something. Make sure you get out there. If you're having a tough year, just get in the woods. You never know what can happen. Arthur hunted his butt off all year long. Finally got a bird on the last day of the season, so anything can happen at any time. So I'd like to say once again, thanks for watching. And don't forget, make sure you check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and www.simplyoutdoors.net. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here next week. Finally got it done with a bird at the end of the year. So if you guys are watching this, this is what happens. Persistency. Sorry. Persistency, is that a word? No. Is it? Persistence. Honey! Persistence. Is persistency a word? Yeah. Okay. We'll scratch that. Just get back at it again. You never know what can happen when you're out there in the outdoors. So, at the end, I was almost done.